Karen Mayuga, and I would like to thank FSTA for having me for the Friday feature. What inspired you to play your instrument? So my mother is a pianist, and I and my two older sisters were taught how to play the piano at a young age. But when I was around four years old, while we were listening to a symphony, I had the idea, why not learn the violin instead? So since my parents brought me to violin lessons when I was seven, I have stuck to it since then. Who is your role model? I would say my biggest role model right now is my teacher, Dr. Carolyn Stewart, because not only is she a highly accomplished violinist and teacher, she's also a very genuine and kind person. Carolyn also has lots of students who strive to make a difference in their communities by using music to help others find a purpose in their life. They're also very good musicians, very good teachers, and at their heart, they're very genuine people as well because Carolyn fosters this environment of growth and helping each other. So we all strive to pay forward the kindness that she has shown us. Who are your favorite instrumentalists and why? When I'm preparing for performances, I tend to listen to the recordings of Hilary Hahn, Julia Fisher, James Ennis. I think that in addition to their technical precision, when I read the score while listening to the recordings, I feel that they're really faithful to the intentions of the composer and it shines through in their performances. I also really like the sound quality of Agustin Hadelich and Kerson Leong. For contemporary recordings, I really like the work of Alexi Kenny because he programs lots of modern music into his recitals, but he approaches them in a really thoughtful and meaningful way. For Baroque music, I really like the recordings of Rachel Podger and the Netherlands Bach Society. Why did you take music as a course? Before I started college, I had already been playing the violin for several years. So at that point, I really hadn't considered a different career path as seriously as I decided to pursue music. On top of that, my older sister was a piano major and my mother has bachelor's and master's degrees in piano performance. So my decision was easily supported by my family. What are your goals? My main goals are to be an accomplished orchestra and chamber musician, as well as to become a teacher. I think that the premise for all of the studying that I'm currently doing is the ability to share all of these experiences and learnings eventually to my colleagues and my students in the future. And I am hoping that I can become a part of ensembles in the future where I not only feel fulfilled, but I will continue to keep on improving and I will continue to learn a lot of new things from them. Your most memorable experience in music. It's hard to name one, but the common denominator tends to be when my teachers give very positive and honest feedback on performances like my recitals or major life achievements. I also found through the years that the experience of playing with an orchestra or with a chamber ensemble for me personally is just incomparable to when I'm performing alone because you get to share the entire experience with your fellow artists. So I was especially happy when I was playing with Trio da Capo and Munchies Quartet, especially when we played at Brancaleoni International Festival because not only was I able to perform with these amazing Filipino artists, but I got to share that music with my colleagues abroad and to meet amazing teachers around the world. I also really treasure all of the performances I had with the Paul Symphony Orchestra when I was associate CM and the USF Symphony Orchestra when I was concertmaster. How has music made an impact in your life? I think after having said all of that, it's very easy to see how integral music is in my life because the people who have made the biggest impact for me, I knew them through music and we continue to build meaningful relationships through it. Music pretty much 
dictates the trajectory of my life. And even looking into the future, the things that I am hoping to achieve are centered around music. And I really won't be where I am now if not for it. And for that, I'm really genuinely grateful and almost in disbelief at how fortunate I am doing what I love. So that's all. Thank you very much for listening to my answers and thank you to FSTA for featuring me.